In this video, we're talking about Metrical, a social media all-in-one management tool. We're going to compare it to Sprout Social, which is perceived to be the gold standard in social media management software. So let's take a look at Metrical in this video and see if it's the right solution for you. Hey there, if we haven't met yet, I'm Neil Smith, your social media guide. I run a social media marketing agency called Amplify Social Media and have been in the social media marketing space for over 15 years and watched a lot of different software platforms come and go and a lot of different tools. And uh, I love testing out new tools. And one of the tools that has been my favorites through the years is Sprout Social. Sprout Social is the gold standard in social media management software. It's beautifully designed, it works well. But the downside is it's very expensive. And so a lot of people are always looking for Sprout Social alternatives. And we as an agency, we run, you know, dozens of different organizations, social media accounts. And so we need to put it all in one platform. And the cost of Sprout Social is just prohibitive for us using it for our agency. So we have tested so many different platforms even until we found Metricool that we found what I believe to be the most cost effective solution on the market. So let's take a look at the two and I'll let you decide which one is best for you. Okay, let's first take a look at Sprout Social's website. You can see it's got a beautiful design. It describes itself as a powerful solution for social media management, our all-in-one solution. Social media management platform unlocks the potential of social media to transform not just your marketing strategy, strategy but every area of your organization. Now, one, I think they're right on. It is an all-in-one platform. I, I don't necessarily believe or agree that it's going to transform your entire organization. I think it's going to transform your maximization of social media and create efficiencies in your social media. So I think they're kind of overselling there uh, when the platform in itself is good. And I think just not overselling is probably a mistake there. I like that you can start a free trial without a credit card. Uh, so you can test it. So I encourage you to go do that. They actually show uh, screenshots of their platform. And, and what I can say, having used Sprout Social on and off for many years is it's fantastic. Uh, I've never had a problem with the software. I've, I've only, you know, come back to it over and over again many times because it works so well. Uh, but I'll tell you where I begin to hit a problem with it. And you can see they create great reports. Uh, the scheduling works good. The response side where you manage all of your comments and messages in one inbox. That works great. They've got all of these integrations. Those are great, but it's when we get into pricing, it becomes an issue. And so you can see here that they're saying $199 per seat per month, and you can only have up to five social media profiles on the platform. Uh, and that's for their standard package. It goes up to $299 when you talk about unlimited social media platforms. And basically like for an agency like mine, it would be every seat would be every employee you need, that works on an account needs a seat in this platform. So if I had 10 employees, that would be $3,000 a month I would pay for this. And so it adds up quickly. And, and I think, you know, if you're one organization, $200 a month might be feasible and could be worth it if you're, you know, at, at a certain extent, but just the cost effectiveness just isn't there. And, and I think these platforms really started a lot with Hootsuite. Uh, that's probably the most most common and most popular. But Hootsuite, from my perspective, just failed to innovate and keep up. They were great when so much of social media was text-based, maybe when they added graphics, but the, the platform itself just failed to keep up with the changing landscape of social media, which is why a tool like Sprout Social and others have popped up through the years. Now, Hootsuite still exists. Uh, I've not gone back to it. I've poked around every now and then I go back. I'm like, is it better? And it's like, yeah, it's still not that good. Um, and so... Sprout Social is the all-in-one platform and the only knock I can give it is their cost. So let's take a look at Metricool and their website. Okay, now looking at Metricool's website, the first thing that jumps out to me and probably jumps out to you is, man, it just looks plain. It looks boring. It doesn't look professional or polished. And I think that's probably what Metricool is. I think it's in some ways what their secret sauce is, is it's a very functional platform where Sprout Social is a very beautiful, great user interface and, and beautiful design where Metricool is just a, you know, nuts and bolts. It works, but it's not fancy. So they call themselves the digital Swiss army knife for social media managers. I love 
that title that they give themselves because that's what we have found this platform to be. And you can see they give a little social proof of more than 1.7 million professionals agencies use Metricool. It kind of surprises me with they've got 1.7 million clients. <laughs> this is the best website they can create. But, you know, maybe from a marketing standpoint, that's what they found to work best. Uh, but but I think it also just keeps expectations low. And I think if it's good enough for 1.7 million others, maybe it's good enough uh, for me too. And you can create a free account here and you can see they give a little social proof of who they've worked with and their you know simple task, automate processes, unified tools, one for all, all for one. And so, yeah, a little bit about their platform. You can actually see they give a screenshot of their platform and you can quickly see, even compared to the screenshot that Sprout Social gives, this isn't great you know it's not beautiful it's not fancy it looks basically like an email box and so very more functional than visual in nature drag and drop solutions and then you can see they're authorized by which is very important because a lot of platforms when when i found social media tools is they don't have a relationship with these social media platforms so when their api changes they get kicked off and it messes up your scheduling and causes a lot of problems and so i have found metrical to stay uh, in front of a lot of those updates that that prevent glitches in their system and then they give some reviews here you'll never walk alone you know and, and basically what the different platforms and you know features are of the platform so basically it's it's a very basic platform very functional it, it's it's basically sprout social just not as pretty is what we found it to be in their marketing represents that but let's get into the the big comparable is let's get into pricing and this is where things really begin to get different and so you can see they actually have a free option here and then it jumps up to 18 dollars per month and management of all your brands on social media and that's that's kind of similar to that per seat as you saw on on sprout social and so you can see here it, it can go up to 139 dollars a month for for basically unlimited we use this 139 dollars a month plan and it covers everything we need so basically what it would take for one seat for only five social media profiles on sprout social we can have you know kind of unlimited i don't you know know exactly how our team structures all of the uses of it I just am a user uh, within our Metricool account. And I pay for it every month and that cost savings is basically we pay a tenth of what we used to pay for Sprout Social. And, and what we have found is that it has done everything we use Sprout Social to do and worked just as well. So I think you probably want to see the platforms. Let me show you behind the curtain of Metricool. So now we're in Metricool. So let's take a look at the different features and, and the way the layout works. The first thing you'll see is it can give me analytics on all of these platforms. And so I can look at it. So the first tab here along the top navigation is analytics. And then you can basically tab between different platforms and look at the analytics for each specific platform. Or you can see the summary uh, it gets into and you can see it's, you know, pretty almost like slideshows in the past, you know, and definitely looks dated from a data visualization standpoint, but it, it gives you very accurate data that you can monitor and you can see the, the peaks and the dips and the engagement pretty clearly here on these reports. So nothing fancy, nothing flashy, but pretty effective and very helpful. And you can, you know, output those, or you can actually create it where it auto, you know, sends you a report monthly or, or however often you want to do that. So pretty good reporting, not as nice as Sprout Social. To be clear, one of my favorite features of Sprout Social is how nice their reports were that we were able to send to clients just directly out of Sprout Social. We now take this data, put it into another platform that I'll probably make a video on later uh, called Infogram. We monitor the analytics through Metricool, but we don't necessarily use the analytics on Metricool. The next thing is you're basically universal inbox here, which is a powerful tool to bring in all of your comments and messages into one inbox. This is probably the biggest use uh, for us with our clients because we will oftentimes still post certain content natively on various platforms, but we do use a lot of their scheduling tools with the Metricool as well. But it is that unified inbox that is so important to keep up with the engagement that's happening across your various platforms works 
tremendously well. We, we've had no issues with this where with other platforms outside of Sprout Social, this was a big issue is we'd constantly have comments that wouldn't come into the system and wouldn't go out. And there were a lot of issues with responding. Metrical has been fantastic for that universal inbox. Then you get into the scheduling. This is just like any other kind of content scheduler where you can just add a new post, what platforms you want it to go to. And all of that works great. Very easy to do where if you just create the post, you know, add the asset, put in the copy and then where you want it to go and when you want that to go out uh, and you create the schedule. So uh, yeah, that's a great feature. Uh, you can do smart links where you can basically create trackable links uh, with your post. So as you're trying to drive traffic and then find the effectiveness of that. And then this is a feature that I'm not using in this account, but you can actually track your advertising on various platforms within Metricool as well. And so it can integrate all of your organic social and your, you know, advertising in the social media platforms all in this one platform. So at the end of the day, my take on Metricool versus Sprout Social is Metricool does everything that I want a social media management tool to do, but for a fraction of the price. And so I rarely recommend uh, Sprout Social unless somebody just has, you know, an, a huge budget and they really do want the best. Sprout Social is probably better than Metricool, but it's not 10 times better. And so from my perspective, what Metricool does that others haven't done uh, that I've experimented with outside of Sprout is it works. It works for scheduling. It works for responding. It works for analytics. It just works. And so th for that reason, I highly recommend Metricool. So whether you are an individual just looking to create efficiencies with your own personal platforms on social media, whether you're an organization wanting to run your companies or your nonprofits, or your churches, social media on one platform, Metrical is a great tool. Or if you're an agency and you're running multiple accounts, multiple brands, all on one account, Metrical is a fantastic platform for that. That's what we use. And so it is without hesitation that I highly recommend this software. And yeah, so if you are interested in Metrical, I do have an affiliate link below. I don't post any videos that I don't believe in or am not honest about, but at the end of the day, if you're going to try it out and test it out, I would appreciate it if you want to use my affiliate link for your trial. And that would just help me create more content like this. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. I would love to know what you think, or if there's another social media management tool that you would recommend, uh, I would love to go check that out. I love trying out new software. I love learning new platforms. And maybe there's another Metricool alternative that I'm not aware of that might work better than Metricool. I'd love to know. So let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you again on the next video.